The overflow control plan, part of it is to keep stormwater from going into the sewer, um, to manage stormwater in a way that will keep it from causing problems further downstream. Um, the projects that I'm involved with are the green infrastructure projects and so far we've built our Middle Blue River green infrastructure pilot project and it's in a part of town called Marlboro also um, where we have installed about 135 vegetated green infrastructure in the right-of-way and so so far that's the main project we've built. It manages about a hundred acre um, watershed takes the water and keeps it out of the sewer. The rain gardens or the green infrastructure that we have in the pilot area, the water from the street, it comes into the rain garden and it slowly soaks into the ground and some of it, the extra goes back to the sewer so that we don't cause, um, you know, deep water. It soaks in within 48 hours. The, the deep rooted plants in the garden help bring the water down into the soil layers. The green infrastructure projects, we are installing them early in the process so that we can learn from them and see which ones work best in Kansas City and which ones are the most functional and most cost effective. There was a lot of residents and, and neighborhoods that are asking for green infrastructure projects because it's a way to bring additional benefits instead of just a, a pipe underground that, that is bringing benefit but you don't see it. It's a way to bring benefit um, on the surface and also create an opportunity to revitalize an area or at least to provide the starting point where other um, revitalization efforts can build upon it. Well this project has uh, worked very closely with the neighborhood organization, the Marlboro Coalition, to look at the locations where um, they're having challenges and places that we can to use our project to help spur change or to spur improvement. So the locations for this portion of the project that were looked at, there were a few open areas that were perfect for stormwater management so we could catch the water in an effective, cost-effective way, while also improving, um, improving that environment. So for example, the Rachel Morado site is going to have, um, it'll be turned into more of a park-like atmosphere. We'll keep some of the trees, but we'll open up the views significantly and bring in cascading bioretention cells and a sidewalk and trail system. And we're working um, closely with the other city departments to leverage what we're doing here to bring in other benefits too in working with the neighborhood.